In this video I'm going to show you some really easy walk cycles that you can use if you're new to stop motion or if you're making a Lego minifigure walk for the first time or if you're just struggling with your walk cycle looking choppy or inconsistent. These are walk cycles that are going to look good at frame rates of less than 12 frames per second. So if you're animating at 12 frames per second or higher these are probably not the right walk cycles for you. But there are other videos on my channel that can help you out if you're looking for a walk cycle tutorial so do check the description and end screen to find links to those. So to start with, if you've never made a stop motion animation before and you just want to make a test animation you might make your minifigure move forward just one step at a time with their legs side by side. This is what I called the slide in the video I made called 5 walk cycles you should never use. That video was just for fun and of course it's not strictly true that you should never use the slide because there are times when you might make your minifigure slide on ice or on water skis or something like that. But if you're trying to make your minifigure walk you need something much better, even if you're a complete beginner. I'm going to show you three walk cycles that are suitable for beginners. And the third one you could use even if you're a more intermediate level brick filmer if you're using a frame rate of 8 or 10 frames per second. The first walk cycle has just four positions. First of all, legs together and arms down. Secondly, left leg lifted and forwards and right arm forward, left arm back. Thirdly, legs together and arms down again. Fourthly, right leg up and forward and left arm forward, right arm back. Then you're back to the first position again and then repeat. That's all there is to it. This is how it looks at six frames per second. This is how it looks at 8 frames per second. This is how it looks at 10 frames per second. And this is how it looks at 12 frames per second. In my opinion, this first cycle looks best at 6 frames per second. The second walk cycle also has just 4 positions. The first and third are the same as before, but in the second and fourth positions you're going to have the front leg on the stud and the back leg in the air, compared to in the previous cycle where the front leg was in the air. So let's go through the frames one by one. First of all, legs together and arms down. Secondly, the left leg moves forward by one stud and the right leg is behind, up in the air. The right arm is slightly forward and the left arm is slightly back. For the third frame, the right leg comes forward and the arms move back in line. For the fourth frame, the right leg moves forward by one stud and the left leg is behind, up in the air. The left arm is slightly forward and the right arm is slightly back. Then the left leg moves forward to join the right leg, the arms return to the side of the body and you're back in the first position. Then repeat. This is how it looks at 6 frames per second. This is how it looks at 8 frames per second. This is how it looks at 10 frames per second. And this is how it looks at 12 frames per second. In my opinion, this one looks best at either 6 frames per second or 8 frames per second. The third walk cycle has 6 positions, and it simply combines the positions we used in the previous two cycles. So, we start like this, as always. Then the left leg lifts up, and the arms move slightly. Then the left leg is placed down on the next stud, and the right leg lifts up behind. The arms move again slightly. Then the right leg comes forward to join the left leg and the arms move back by the minifigure's side. Then the right leg lifts up and forwards. The right leg moves down onto the next stud and the left leg lifts up and finally the left leg moves forward onto the next stud as well and we're back at the first position. This is how it looks at 6 frames per second. This is how it looks at 8 frames per second. This is how it looks at 10 frames per second. And this is how it looks at 12 frames per second. In my opinion, this third walk cycle looks best at 8 or 10 frames per second. With all three of these walk cycles, remember that you need to move the arms as well as the legs. Two important things about the arm movement. 
Firstly, the arms move the opposite way to the legs, so when the left leg is forwards, the left arm is backwards. Secondly, you only want a little bit of arm movement. If you have no arm movement, your character will look like a robot. Too much arm movement and it'll look choppy, ridiculous and distracting. As with my run cycle tutorial, I've created some handy reference images or cheat sheets that you can download from my website. You can find the links in the description. You'll also find links to more stop motion tutorials and a specific playlist of walk and run cycle tutorials as well. Thanks for watching and happy brick filming. Thank you.